Well, I think that there's two things that surprised me about the history of Sancho religion. One was that I had kind of imbibed the secular idea that science and faith had always been uh, clashing. And so once I started studying a little bit more about this, and I saw that, for example, the Royal Society, which funds a lot of my work, was founded by people like Boyle and Newton and others who were deeply religious and much more religious than the average person of their day. And these are, you know, I may not agree with all of Newton's theology, but there's no question that he was a deeply religiously motivated person. And so you can see the kind of Christian roots of science, that Christianity had a very deep impact on the rise of modern science. And that was a big surprise for me, mainly because I think I had been taught in school, directly or indirectly, that, that, that there's a history of essentially of conflict. Whereas in reality, this, the history is much more complex, but there's, you can make a pretty strong case for the fact that Christianity had a big role in the, the birth of modern science. And I think you can see reflections of that even today in the scientific practice, the importance of honesty, the importance of a whole series of ways of working that I think are very valuable. They're actually sometimes under attack these days, but I think have deeply Christian roots. So that was one big surprise. I think the other surprise to me was really having to do with origins. So I was again brought up um, with, when I was younger, mainly this kind of young earth creationist view which says, well, this is the way the Bible has always been interpreted. This is the only way you can interpret the Bible. And when I started looking back at early writers like Origen or Augustine, and realized that they didn't take chronological views of Genesis. They took non-chronological views, or at least they, they had a lot of, um, they thought those were important ways of thinking about, about Genesis. And I realized there's this long history of looking at Genesis in a much more subtle way. And that really this, I this idea that the only way to look at Genesis is in this fairly naive historical way that the seven days are real seven days. Um, that, that the emphasis on that as being an important doctrine is really a modern innovation, something of the last 50 years really, rather than a historical doctrine that the church has always held. I mean, obviously the church had no reason to believe that the earth was old uh, several hundred years ago because there was no scientific evidence to point one way or the other. Um, but the idea that this was a fundamental doctrine, which is what well, I was brought up with sight somewhat um, is really a modern innovation. And that was a surprise, a complete surprise to me. I did not expect it to be that way.